Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Business with Beers podcast. This episode is part of a weekly series called Franchise Fridays, in which every Friday we have an episode dedicating to help you create freedom by owning a franchise. My family has been in the franchising business for over 45 years. My brother and I took over our family's franchise auto repair business and grew it from six locations to 30, doing over $36 million a year in sales. And if you were just getting started in franchising, there's a lot to learn. You've got over 3,000 franchises to choose from. So how do you pick the right one? What landmines do you have to avoid? How do you validate everything you learn? I'm excited to announce that we have just launched an introduction to franchising coaching program. So this is a comprehensive program to teach you about everything related to getting started in franchising. And there are six components to this program. Number one is a course. So this provides a baseline education on franchising. You can go at your own speed. Number two are live group calls. So every week we're gonna conduct live calls, diving into different franchise models, answering questions about the course, due diligence, market research, growth strategy, seller financing, marketing, real estate, anything related to franchising, you know, come on and listen and ask questions live. Number three is live franchisor webinars. So I'm gonna be bringing on franchisors to present their business model, competitive advantage, startup costs, financial performance, and more to the group. You have the ability to listen, to learn, to ask questions, questions and all of these will be recorded in your library so you can watch them at any point. Number four is franchise e power interviews. So every month I'm going to be conducting uh, interviews with successful franchisees across a range of industries, diving into their story, how they got started, lessons learned, financial and performance and more. All of this will be recorded and accessible through the library. Number five is personalized franchise matching. So when you are ready to take that next step and want to start talking to franchisors, my team will help find franchises based on your goals, budget, skill, and location. And then we work with you through the entire process of becoming a franchisee. And number six is a private group chat. So you have the opportunity to connect with other entrepreneurs going down the same path as you in our private group chat. And so... There's a number of bonuses too, questions to ask the franchisor, questions to ask franchisees during validation, financial and modeling, spreadsheets, network, net worth tracking spreadsheet, more. You can go to brianbeers.com and click on the intro to franchising link to learn more. Today, we're going to dive into three low-cost franchises that you can start for around $75,000. Now, every franchisor provides an estimate in their FDD, stands for Franchise Disclosure Document. It's this like 250 to 500 page you know, contract that you were to sign when you become a franchisee. And in that, they will provide this initial estimate that is a low to high range. And there's a number of startup costs that they include in this this range. Number one's a franchise fee. And in these low cost franchises, that will be the majority of your cost. It's like your ticket to ticket to the show here. Uh, it also includes vehicles, usually a down payment on a vehicle lease or buying the vehicle outright, any equipment you'll need to get started, initial inventory, a grand opening marketing budget, professional fees, you'd have to pay an attorney or accountant or whoever to set up entities, you know, usually a year's worth of liability insurance, training and travel expenses, any lease deposits or prepaid rent, any leasehold improvements. So like if you had to outfit a retail location, any signage you would have to put on a building and finally working capital. So cash you'd want in the bank account to be able to fund payroll and other expenses, you know, as the sales grow. Now, all of these low cost franchises I'm going to talk about today are home-based, which means there is no rent, leasehold improvements, or signage, which significantly lowers your startup costs. And with all three of these, you will probably say to yourself, well, this business sounds pretty easy to start. Why do I, why do I need a franchise? And the truth is, yes, you could skip the franchise and start any of these from scratch. There's nothing proprietary or unique. Uh, they are all competing in highly fragmented industries with lots and lots of competitors. You know, the benefit of a franchise is this done for you model where the franchisor has spent years figuring out which marketing works and which doesn't, which pricing model and compensation plan works the best to maximize your margins. You know, they figured out the best software to use for operating the business, for scheduling jobs, for invoicing customers, for running payroll. They have a brand, they have a website, they have a reputation. But most importantly, they've created a community. And when you join a franchise, you are instantly part of a community of other 
other entrepreneurs who are going down the same path as you. So you have a peer group to ask questions, to share best practices, to tell stories about crazy customers or, or employees and celebrate your success. So you, yes, you could save the franchise fees and you would then spend years figuring out and doing it all by yourself or you pay to play, you get handed the playbook, and then you go together with a group of other like-minded people. And as a disclaimer, you need to understand that buying a franchise is a complex investment and that the information provided by me should not be relied on. And we don't make any representations as to the potential success of any franchise that you need to conduct your own independent investigation to verify information that you've received from all sources. So now that we got that out of the way, first up, we have made this Made This is a residential cleaning franchise that encourages and teaches franchisees to operate the business from anywhere in the world. Made This was founded a few years ago by Neil Perek. Neil was looking to start a side hustle while working a full-time W-2 job. He started a cleaning company, built up cash flow, quit his job, travels the world, and now teaches other people how to do the same. I actually interviewed Neil on my podcast, episode 102, you know, a couple, couple weeks or months ago, I guess at this point. So you can go listen to his full story there. Made This really focuses on short-term rentals. So with a short-term rental, you can clean the same house two or three times in a week compared to, you know, one time every two weeks for traditional residential cleaning. So Neil teaches franchisees how to market to Airbnb owners, how to hire and, tr and train and retain cleaners. And there is a mix of you know that residential kind of bread and butter work in addition to the short-term rentals. It costs forty-five to sixty-five thousand dollars to start up, uh, you know, one territory here. And in their item nineteen, which is you know the the financial performance that they will disclose in their FDDs. Neil shows his you know, financials for 2020 and 2021 for his corporate location where he grossed over a million dollars in sales both years. So pretty good opportunity there. Made This is still a young franchise though. They only have eight locations. There are some risks when working with a newer franchise because they are still learning and growing and will have, there's growing pains, right? Um, but there are some advantages too. You know, you get to work side by side with the founder. And when a company is starting out, the founder is usually heavily involved in, in sales and operations and helping every single franchisee succeed. And as the business starts to grow, the founder, you know, steps away from the operations so that he can then focus more on kind of running this bigger organization, hiring more people, you know, setting up the more executive level tasks. So the other thing is made this is the lowest cost and most flexible cleaning franchise. There's many other brands out there and there's a, other established brands cost ninety dollars to $120,000 to get started. Many require an office space with washer and dryer hookups. Some require branded vehicles and for you to purchase specific cleaning chemicals. And there's nothing wrong with those requirements. You know, it works for them and the brand that they've created. However, made this just provides an alternative for those looking for that low cost and, and high flexibility. Number three is prime market availability. Many prime markets for other cleaning franchises have already sold out. And with a young company that has open markets, you can take advantage of that. If you are interested in learning more about Made This, you can text me at 215-703-8665. And I will introduce you to the franchisor and then work with you every step of the way in becoming a franchisee. It costs you absolutely nothing as the franchisor would pay me a referral fee if you ended up joining. So 215-703-8665, text me there. Next up, we have That One Painter. That one painter is one of the fastest growing residential painting franchises in the country. And the business model works like this. Corporate will do all the marketing for you to drive leads. And then those leads feed into an appointment center that corporate also runs. They will communicate with those leads via text, web chat, social media, you know, on the phone, like whatever it takes. Their goal is to set an appointment for you or someone from your team to go out to the house, to quote the job, to close the sale. And then in most states, your painters will be 1099 contractors who you will schedule to knock out the work. The job will be done in you know one to three days and then you're on to the next one. So pretty, pretty simple business model, just that on repeat. The costs on the low end, 71,000 and to the highest end, 110,000, depending on how much working capital and how much 
you plan on spending in grand open marketing. In terms of sales performance, their item 19 of their 2022 FDD shows the gross sales of their two corporate locations for 2021. Austin, Texas, which they state is larger than a normal franchisee territory, did over $4 million in sales. And then San Marcos, Texas, which they state is similar size to a single franchisee territory, did $719,000 in sales during its first year in operation. And they just started franchising in 2021. Like I said, they're, they're growing pretty fast. They already have 32 franchisees operating in 43 territories. They have both an owner operator and semi absentee model, depending on what you're looking for. They focus on, you know, kind of an active, thriving community of franchisees, which, you know, of course I love to see. So anyway, pretty, pretty interesting business model, uh, doing pretty well in the painting space. And so if you're interested in learning about this one, that one painter, you can text me, same phone number, 215-703-8665. And I introduce you. I work with you every step of the way, cost you nothing. You know, I get paid a referral fee, be transparent. 215-703-8665. And up last, we've got the Patch Boys. The Patch Boys is a drywall repair business. The founders have over a decade experience in construction and have mastered the process of rapidly patching holes. This model is pretty similar to that one painter. You know, you spend money on marketing to drive leads. In this case, the leads will go directly to you. You schedule the estimate. Uh, when you go to the house, you sell the job, and then you get your drywall crew, which will also be 1099 contractors in most of the states, can knock out that job, you know, within a couple hours of of showing up, you know. And so, as the owner, your role is to estimate and sell the jobs, coordinating the crews, working on creating relationships with other contractors. If you think about it, every electrician and plumber you know, has to rip open the walls to do their work. And then they need drywall crews to follow them to patch up the holes. And so a lot of the, the relationships and the referral business is based on that. And since you're, you know, home-based and you're using contractors, the overhead on the monthly basis is pretty low, very similar to the painting business. There are over 170 territories in the country. And this franchise, the Patch Boys is owned by this company called the Belfour Group, which is one of the largest companies in the restoration, construction, home services industry. So it costs fifty to $75,000 for one territory that is roughly 250 to 350,000 people. And the, franch the franchisor will finance 40% of the franchise fee in-house. And their FDD shows that the average franchisee owns two to three territories, a couple of them own four or five. And so uh pretty good you know opportunity i always love it when franchisors will finance a portion of house it, it leaves you know less out of pocket for you and gives you more working capital to to spend on marketing and grow the business so their item 19 of 2022 shows 2021 sales that follows the average franchisee did two hundred and ninety three thousand dollars in sales with the bottom quartile only at sixty three thousand and the top quartile did over seven hundred and twenty thousand dollars in sales with their top two franchisees crushing it at over a million dollars in sales. It is common for any franchise, but especially these low cost franchises to see a wide range of performance. You know, we see guys doing 63,000 and then in the same group doing 720,000, almost 10 times more. And if you think about it, like they're operating the same exact business model, the same exact brand, same exact training, Right. But then we have this group that is very focused. They follow the process and they're just they're, they're crushing it. And then there's other people who buy it in and they think it's going to run itself and they don't spend any money on marketing. They're terrible managers. They don't take an active role in building it. And so, you know, for any franchise you get into, it's not passive. You know, even semi absentee, you got to work it. It takes a lot of energy to get the plane off the ground. And all these low cost franchises provide you know, a good starting point, but it's really up to you and your ability to, to make it work. So if you're interested in learning more about the Patch Boys, you can text me 215-703-8665. I'll introduce you to the franchisor. I work with you every step along the way and it costs you absolutely nothing. So 215-703-8665. And if there's any other franchise that you want to look into, you can shoot me a text at that number too. We could talk about it. It doesn't have to be these three. Um, and I'm, I'm happy to work with you. And so to wrap it up here, there's no magic bullet when it comes to franchising. It's all about finding the right franchise that matches your goals, your budget, your skills, and your location. And wealth doesn't wait for anybody. So get started today on your journey to becoming a franchisee. 
and you can either choose to go alone or you can you know join join my team and go together and if you want to learn more about my introduction to franchising group coaching program as i mentioned earlier just go to brianbeers.com you'll find all the information there cheers <laughs>